Grand Spark, thank yes. you. I was attacked by goats. They had red devil eyes. And they came at me and they and I and by the way, I when I first told this story on air, I had the most amazing listener who sent me a pair of pink sparkled shoelaces because see I had brand new pink sparkled shoelaces in my shoes. And I still have the shoelaces that this listener sent. And the goats ate it. They like stripped them right out of my shoes. They ate everything. They would try to eat my hair. They ate one of my barrettes. And so I've always hated them. But if they're smaller, I feel like I have more control over them. Anyway, that's my issue. I've been posting pygmy owl videos like mad. They are just, I really want one. They look so mean. Like they, that's, that's my spirit animal. The same. Let's kick it into headlines. With all the news that is news, it's the Data Show headlines. Audio soundbite 19. Adam Carolla on the Washington Redskins controversy. Check it. Is Redskins an offensive name? Yes. Is it going to do anything to help the people that are offended by it? Zero. Are there more probably white people offended by it than there are Native Americans? Yes. Thus, it becomes a way for us to feel better about ourselves for what we've done to these people. But if we really wanted to help these people, there are 700,000 modalities we should explore before a professional franchise changes their name. Completely agree. Completely agree. Except, you know, I think it was a name that was meant, was meant to honor. And you have people on, you have, you have schools on, on Navajo reservations, Navajo sco- schools, schools, what I can't even talk, that are called the Redskins. That's their mascot name. That's their team mascot. Just now. Audio soundbite uh, 20. Sarah Palin on Thad take a break. Cochran. We'll and his, to it. Oh, no, you're not telling me to take a break. I talk too damn much about the pygmy owl, which is adorable. Google it. There are all of these videos of them. They can even play tennis. The Dana Show. Talk lines are open now at 866-455-9797. This is The Dana Show. If Republicans are going to act like Democrats, then what's the use in getting all gung-ho about getting more Republicans in there? We need people who understand the beauty of, the value of, allowing the free, the free market to thrive. Otherwise, our country is going to be continue to be over-regulated, driving industry away, driving jobs away. Yeah, there's a point there. There is a point. I'm trying to figure out, I'm going to be talking about this with Red State's Ben Howe. I fill in for Glenn Beck tonight's television show, 5 Eastern, 4 Central, uh, because Ben's been doing a lot of investigation into this, especially into who, who are the groups that are, that were pushing and promoting those, those flyers. Whose groups were those? And how much did Democrats play a part? I mean, we know that Thad Cochran won the Delta. We know that he won predominantly black precincts. And that's probably the first time that he ever mounted any sort of serious get out the vote effort at all whatsoever in black Mississippi communities, which I would hope that that becomes something that is regular practice for Mississippi Republicans, for the Haley Barbers of Mississippi. But considering that this is the first time that it's ever been attempted at that level, um, I don't know because it's uh, they just wanted it. They didn't want it because they wanted to improve or areas or bring people more freedom, bring people more liberty, allow for more opportunity to filter through. No, they did it because they wanted to keep this ancient dude who probably misses the dinosaurs in his seat. He's like a thousand years old. And yes, like I said, my first hour, because someone took exception with me talking about his age. I reserve the right to mock a dude who has kept a seat for longer than I have been alive, longer than likely you have been alive. I think it's I think it's it's fair game, Kevin. Do you not agree or am I being mean and and talking about how he is so he's older than dirt? It's it's it is it's time for him to leave, you know, and we shouldn't be surprised with this happening in Mississippi, you know. You were talking earlier in the show, people are angry. It's it's Mississippi. It doesn't surprise me with this guy. I mean, it is time. You hate Mississippi. No, I don't. But it's it's it is a corrupt state. It's things. It's they did a poll not too long ago. I can't remember what it was from, 
But Mississippi was in the top five of corrupt states in the country. Yeah. It's a Haley Barber state. Is that where you got into your fist fight, by the way? Yeah, that was that was in Mississippi. So, <laughs> well, I mean, just, okay, just wondering. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have to tell you this too. Uh, Radio America, who's our syndicator, because uh, we're in all these different cities across the country now. Mike Paradiso, who is he's like one of the bosses there at Radio America. Kevin, he's you, but older. That's that's a good you know thing. That? That's a good thing. Just, I mean, <laughs> the mannerisms are the same. He has a beard. Yeah. You don't have a beard. I kind of do right now. The mannerisms now. are the same. You're built the same way. I've never, I haven't asked him if he enjoys running or power walking. Not power walking, race walking, uh -huh. right? You're going to correct me. What is it? It was, it was race walking. That's what I did in college. Okay. That was my event in track okay. and field. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I didn't, I didn't ask if he does that. Or if he has an affinity for windbreakers. But other than that, you guys are identical. <laughs> and he wears glasses. But other than that, you guys are completely identical. So I just, I had to, I had to share that with you because when I was in New York speaking at Talkers, every time he would talk, I'm like, I'm like, that is, that's Kevin. That's <laughs> Kevin talking. Yeah. Anyway. Sounds like a pretty cool guy. Back to your point. Look at you. You're like, sounds like a great person. Love him already. What the heck were we talking about? Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi, and your fist fight. No, just, you got no fist fight in Mississippi. It has He's nothing to do with that. It's sense. just the fact that, you know, Mississippi, how, but people are talking about how corrupt it is. And just, you know, the, you were talking about, like, you know, was it okay to attack his age? But, yes, it's, it, there comes a time when some of these guys just need to go. Yes, you don't want somebody up there who's young and doesn't know what they're doing. But the guy's been, well, he was a congressman in 1972 is when he first got elected. Yeah, I wasn't alive. Neither were you. No, I wasn't. I, I don't even think I was a consideration. At the, at the there time. you go. <laughs> yeah, he needs to get out of there, especially when it's like he just, I feel, I feel again, like they're weakened at burning him. Did you ever see that movie? I saw oh, it yeah. once a long time ago. And apparently there's a, there's a sequel for some reason. But no, when you have guys Wait, that, there's a sequel to yes. Weekend at Bernie's? There was a sequel to Weekend at Bernie's. How do you make a sequel to I don't that? Know. That's that's exactly. Wasn't he for real question. dead in that movie? Yes, he was, he was dead. Yes, he was. How do you turn that into a sequel? What's that church? You know what it was called, don't you, Dana? What? Weekend at Bernie's Two. Yeah. Well, yeah, it was a sequel. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen it. Oh my gosh! But I know somebody that owns wow, it. Wow! But like, my what? Okay, so my mom's best friend used to be a mortician. And then she kept her license so she can go and she can go and buy hair product and and makeup in bulk. Um, <laughs> we have a very interesting family. So I, do, I so at one point don't they get um, and the reason I bring her name I was because she you know would what she's the person that my mom always brings whenever they go to visitations down in the Ozarks and she brings her best friend along like how do you think this person's makeup it you know anyway while they're in the casket. Uh, but don't, after a while, I mean, the way that they were lugging him around in the movie, and that one guy who was in that one Molly Ringwald movie was in this movie. Um, the guy who was in Pretty in Pink. Was it, because uh, it was, uh, Jonathan Silverman was in it, and uh, I don't even remember Andrew him. McCarthy. I don't, Andrew McCarthy, I've known yeah. who Jonathan Silverman is. Is he, not re is he related to Sarah Silverman? Oh, on that I don't know. I wonder. Anyway, Andrew McCarthy. That's right. So he was in. They he would and the other guy would like drag Bernie around. At some point, doesn't Bernie like not move easily? Yeah, they rigor mortis. Yes. If, and, yeah. Yeah, and definitely that. And when you, I know a little bit of this too. You know, it's, I, my dad worked in the funeral business. Yes, they get rigor mortis. And in fact, when they get, take them in to embalm them, when they're embalming them, then they put them. They have to move their body around so they can form them. To the way they look in the caskets. So, yes. And also, they do start to smell if you do not get them embalmed. So, like, how long How long was this? I don't understand. So, how long after the first weekend at Bernie's did the sequel come out? I just don't like movies that have, no, I have I a think. problem with suspension of disbelief. Well, and, and what I remember <laughs> is that it was something to do with, like, they were trying to find, like, a treasure or something. So, they used, like, voodoo to revive Bernie. No, the they dead. did not. Yeah, <laughs> of course they did because they had to do something because of their rigor mortis. Yeah, of course they did. Hollywood, you're so stupid. Really, <laughs> did the voodoo work? Did he actually like reanimate? 
Uh, That's yeah. Gross. Yeah. Because- because see, like the things aren't working. Nothing's working anymore. Oh my gosh! Well, we relied on voodoo magic to make the sequel possible. 